What's up, guys? Welcome back to the uh, Body Pillow Podcast, episode... Welcome. Technically three. Technically three. We filmed another one. We filmed but... another one, but, it, you know, it didn't work because I'm a stupid a idiot, good. man. Um, but, you know... We're gonna we're gonna do it again. We're gonna have Delia back, and it'll work. So yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is also our holiday episode. So congratulations for nice making Star it Wars with one. us through the holidays. Yeah, we got mm -hmm. we got our holiday drip on. I don't know if you can s holiday holiday. It's got a holiday outfit on. Don't touch me. We put up a wreath. You know. Okay. So yeah, it we're, is it's pretty festive today. Ryan's got sunglasses. Versace. Versace. Yeah, have Versace. <laughs> Sunglasses. <laughs> Wait, uh, I'll show them to the two dollar camera. There's a Versace symbol. You just can't see it. They can probably see it. Uh, you could probably see it. Ours is just really shadowy. Our quality is really bad okay. right now, but it'll probably be better. I started the timer. Now. Okay. Well, the timer's starting now. Yeah, it's whatever. Okay. Yeah, it's good. Um, body pillow. Did we say the name of the podcast? It's the Body Pillow Podcast. I mean, you probably in case know for by some now. reason you decided to watch an episode three. I guess that's a thing in podcast. Yeah, I don't know. Well, it also says the title, so yeah. like people would totally know the name by yeah. now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, my, I, I think it's picking me up. Okay. Yeah. So. Hold on, let me check and make sure we're still recording. Ow, I just hit my head. Goof. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay, so, um, yeah, we're good. We, we got another guest for you guys today. Today we are bringing on to the podcast my good friend and Ryan's good friend, mm -hmm. Ka <laughs> Cameron Mays. <laughs> Uh, Cam has directed a bunch of silly things that we've done, a bunch of... He, he did the footage for the, the kids' flop. Uh, if you if you were working if you have, if you watched that with Ryan so yeah uh, Cameron great to have you with us how's it going man what's up I'm just chilling as they say yeah for sure for sure how's your day been how's your week been how's life man um you know pretty all right um, just uh, been working a lot as they say customer service and during Christmas so that's um that's kind mm. of fun I guess that's but, yeah. cool where you work. I work at, um, well, I feel like I, I should not talk. I mean, I might, I don't know how this conversation is going to go. So I'm going to say I work at a, um, undisclosed retail store. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Yeah, for sure. For I, sure. For sure. For sure. I, I don't know if this is going to be a, a, you know, positive stories or negative stories about it. So I'm going to keep it, um, undisclosed. That's smart. That's smart. That's good. That's good. That's yeah. Thinking of the future. We kind of set you up for failure on that one. Yeah. That could have been bad. Mm -hmm. It's okay. <laughs> I'd probably yeah, deserve it. I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully everybody didn't stop watching the podcast by this point. We missed a week because I just messed up the audio on the last one. And that's why I'm paranoid mm -hmm. that I've messed up the audio on this one. So I keep like looking over to make sure we're still recording. Um, hey. I think we are, you know. It's okay. So, they don't yeah, care about right. that stuff. Right. They don't care about that stuff. Right. As long as the content keeps coming, you know, that's all, that's all mm. our loyal what 20 fans care about yeah yeah the 20 people 20 people watching the nine-year-olds all the nine-year-olds watching yeah that's a <laughs> that's our primary audience yeah yeah they love this kind of content yeah all right well we should probably go into the intro right about now you know our iconic introduction theme um i'm not gonna edit it and make it holiday themed we already put our sweaters on you're gonna it's gonna be the same song i'm not changing anything we don't have that kind of production value so <laughs> yeah um cam would you mind starting a timer for us on your end, do you have any access to a timer? Yeah. What do I do? Can I just count? With you just, my, yeah. Okay. Like we, we can blink. do the we can do the classic count with our fingers. Um, okay. So we're just gonna count to twenty eight. Yeah. That just is picture like exactly how long. Jingle bells in the background. Yeah. Just like, picture like shakers and like festive stuff. Like this. Or like, I, yes, just like <laughs> okay. that. Okay. All right. I'm so like, we're gonna one, count to twenty eight. <laughs> <The Donald laughs> <No. laughs> Stop it! Stop it! We're gonna count to twenty eight in That's three. Not very cash money of you. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. Two. You know, that's on me. I'm sorry. One. Welcome to the Body Pillow Podcast. 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 With Ian and Ryan. 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 Hey everybody, Ian here editing the audio post-production. Um, so we counted to 28 really slow, so you got a little bit more dead time to sit through. Sorry. It's almost over. 28, alright. That's gonna be yeah. 28, right? Something Maybe. around that, I yeah. Count. I hope it is. I lost count I halfway count. through, and then I just kind of looked at what Cameron's fingers were doing and acted like I still knew what was happening. Dude, yeah, I looked at you, I was like, Jingle bells. we're off. Are, ooh, excuse me. 
It's Shoot. okay. I can censor you, buddy. You're good. Don't do not worry. I'm sorry, nine year all the nine year olds out there. To um, all the nine year olds out there. I wonder what I'm gonna put to censor. I, I'm gonna come up with a funny, funny holiday themed censor thing. So that'll be good. That'll be. Don't, you don't could you put like oh, Rudolph's good. red nose or something, <laughs> or like Santa's beard over his face. That Mart is. Can we put Martin Van Buren over? Martin Van. That's what we'll do. We're definitely gonna put Martin <laughs> Van Buren for the ongoing joke. Well, that's one thing I've always My thought celebrity is kind of stupid. Your celebrity crush, Martin Van Buren. Marty v, baby. <laughs> that's something I've thought. I like them toad like. <laughs> And as somebody who's like in film and everything, like do, when when they censor things on like live television and they b block out their mouth, like why do they do that? Because through like the context of the sentence, like we can definitely tell what they're saying. Like, is there, like, why do they? Yeah, but they're not blocking it out for eighteen-year-olds. They're blocking it out for young people. Right? Yeah, but still, I feel like people would be able to like if you go like, what the blank? Like, I feel like people would be able to tell like. Yeah, yeah. Like I don't know if like young kids would like really understand it. I don't know. I, I feel like I, guess. I don't. Because. I think like when I was a nine year old, I was uh I was a bit of a sailor mouth as they say, and I'd get in trouble on the bus for swearing <laughs> all the time. So like you know I hadn't. Did you I really? Yeah. <laughs> oh. So I I totally got a knew bad what was boy. Up. <laughs> oh yeah. Well you know I was back of the bus. You know we were just did, we didn't give a a heck. We just did whatever we wanted. You know sometimes we would wave <laughs> to people. We'd wave to people driving by, not to not to brag. Yeah, we're yes, I, dude. I was dangerous oh. back in the as day. Cool as you. Yeah, the potty mouth posse, dude. <laughs> back in like the twenty fours and twenty threes, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> the twenty. Yeah, they're. Yeah. I was more of a middle of the bus kind of guy. Middle of the bus kind of pal. Oh. I got made fun of in the back of the bus. Yeah, it's all right, dude. Kids are mean. But like the you front of the bus, you don't want to be too close to the bus driver. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I, the middle of the bus is like the better part of the bus honestly like back of the bus like you we thought we were cool but looking back okay. it's like man i was just an idiot you know i was just a lost yeah. lost kid a lot yeah I, I feel the same way i was in the back for a little bit there and i think it was just because i was stupid you mm -hmm. know i think that was big. well i think it's like we came down to. like because like the bus driver's already looking for the back of the bus they don't suspect the middle of the bus they never know? suspect the middle that's true you were big brain no one too expects the spanish inquisition you know? no one expects the spanish inquisition true story True. Did I use the wrong word? Inspect. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was I had something I was going to say. I completely forgot it, though. Oh, yeah. Cam, you got any projects you're working on right now? You got anything you're um, doing? Any projects I'm working on right now? Uh, I'm working on a couple of scripts right now. Um, oh. You know, you know, like, next summer I was, I wanted, I was working on, um, I, I read a lot of Jack Kerouac over quarantine, and, um, Okay. He's, a, he's a beat writer and one of his biggest thing is like is hitchhiking and i was like man wouldn't that be kind of okay. cool if we were like if i made a movie about hitchhiking and then we actually hitchhiked across america like so it's there's an element of documentary to it but it's like a fictional story um oh so, okay i got you yeah so i was like, like spinal tap yeah yeah kind of like that and um so i was gonna like i wanted to write it over the winter break and then in the summer i was gonna film it and i was like asked my mom sure. and dad i was like yo can i borrow like some money so I can make this movie. And then they <laughs> so were I can like, get potentially abducted. Yeah. And then they were like, well, you know, that's like, you know, you're going to have to transport yourself, your crew and you know, all your actors. That's just going to be like a ton of money just on the transportation and housing costs alone. I was like, frick. So I'm going to rework, <laughs> rework that right now. <laughs> so it's a little bit more, um, financially feasible and, um, sure better planned out yeah so that's that's what i was i'm working on right now i'm i'm working on a uh, a short film um this is again going to be um over the summer um sure. and my plan for this one um and i'm hoping that you'll star in it because you're starring in the prelude to it so it'd be kind of weird oh, God. okay <laughs> um my, <laughs> my plan for this is i um i'm really fascinated with um with mick mansions you know like the uh the like the the design of houses, you know, and, and the McMansion, okay. which is really a popular uh, design in suburbs and especially where we live. Um, right. So I, um, I uh, just think they're really ugly and um, <laughs> they, they really pass off the appearance that, oh, we have a lot of money. But, you know, it's it's just they're how it's like, you know, brick in the front and then plastic on the sides. You know, what is that? Like I we have a lot of money and didn't know how to use it. We just wanted, you just really wanted you to know. Yeah. You it's know, like, that's kind of, yeah. it's just massive. Yeah. And just a, a waste of space. So, 
Um, it sounds the, like a McDonald's burger, the McMansion. <laughs> yeah. Like McJaggers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyway, keep going. So, yeah, so that my plan is I, I want the movie to be about these kind of three screwball idiot um, criminals trying to rob a McMansion who they perceive as like like their friend's house who lives in the McMansion with his parents. And they perceive, uh, perceive oh, this guy must be loaded. And he really is just, you know, not doesn't have a lot of money whatsoever. He's just kind of a... Nice. Yeah. <laughs> But that um, sounds good. Yeah. And then the prelude to that, um, you know, I was planning on shooting over winter break with you. Um, Mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm really excited about that. Um, I've, yeah, that'll be a good one. Yeah. I've, I've just, you know, um, really been interested with in color, like, um, as a, as a concept and, uh, and how to make colors work. And, you know, I've been watching a lot of movies that just kind of explore that. And I kind of, like how so, like what kind of movies? Um, so, I mean like the most, popular example would probably be and like um most contemporary example would be wes anderson um so you know i've been watching a lot of his stuff um i watched this gorgeous um i think that i think it was directed by uh david lean i might be wrong in the name it was called it was called peeping tom and is the most beautiful um this beautiful technicolor um uh just great colors and and stuff like that um just really vivid reds and blues and yellows um, it was about a guy who films prostitutes that he kills. <laughs> so, nice, yeah. dude. That's so sick. Can we get yeah. it, everybody? Can we get a dab? Real oh, quick? fuck yeah. Three, two, one. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, that's sick. It was. It was pretty. It was just a really great film. I've seen some of his other stuff, and they're they're Very just wholesome. beautiful. Yeah, yeah. It was. It wholesome was rather. Content. Yeah, it sounds beautiful. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, cool. I got that's crazy. I got some <laughs> questions for you guys. I see you guys are oh. it's the holiday episode. I see you guys are wearing sure. some uh Christmas themed clothing. Yes. Sure, sure. Tell, tell me about that. Yeah, go ahead, Ryan. I've Keep had this way. for like maybe I don't know, like four years. And I wear it you can't see. it's like the only Christmas thing I have. Oh my they can see it. You're like hanging me. <laughs> <laughs> don't reward me for not showing them. Okay, so you like you have Darth Vader. And you uh-huh. have Boba Fett somewhere in there, oh, and the stormtrooper, and it's like it's like you know like a Star Wars parody. I'm like, what is an ugly Christmas sweater? And I feel like it really explores what it is to be. That's so true. It's an excellent exploration of colors. True. Yeah, yeah. vivid reds and yeah. blues. Well, it's a good, no blues. Um, or, the screen's a little sweater. small, but it, you, I mean, you got the the red and red and blue colors. I mean, not sorry, the red and green color schematic, you know, those are two, yeah. um, complementary colors, you know, so it's very, bold, yeah. very, very exciting stuff. <laughs> it yeah. pops, it pops off the fabric. Yeah. Truly. Yeah. I got my, my Christmas cardigan. I already, I already showed this on the, the, the Kent state musical theater, 2024, um, Instagram page. Check it out guys. If you haven't, uh, that's KSUMT 2024. I hope, I hope that's the right, I might have just plugged the wrong account, but I hope I think that's what it is. I think that's what it is. Um, it's a it's a Christmas cardigan. It's the only Christmas thing I own, and it's got little reindeers on it. Oh, little reindeers, little reindeer. That's my SoundCloud name. Yeah. So you know, what you, what do you got? I got this you is got my this is my dad's. Um, okay. He's never worn it before, and it's a. Um, oh. I don't know if you can see it. It's like Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And there's like flames on the side. Yeah. <laughs> I, wait let me let me see the flame on the sleeve again oh that is insane Dude, that's yeah. amazing that is so good he's never worn it no never how do you not wear that this is your first time breaking that in yeah it is first this is I it's um it. maiden voyage it's i think maiden voyage. i think this means baseball but i don't really know i don't speak japanese so that's been <laughs> i've been trying to learn it on duolingo hold on wait let me see let me see it let me see it let me see if i can recognize any of the letters one of those I think is E. That's all I know. I cannot. I could not tell you what is happening. No. Nope, oh wait. No I, clue. I was framing it in my screen. I wasn't framing it in the the other screen. It is. It was framed the first time. You're okay. Yeah. I, if anybody speaks Japanese, let us know what that means mm-hmm. in in the comments. Our uncle does, but I don't know if he still does. He used yeah, to. He used to. He went to Japan for a year. Oh. Stop. Yeah. I, I've been trying to learn Japan. Ja- I, I've been trying to learn Japanese. I've been trying to learn Japanese. We're in Japan. Speak. Japanese. I've been trying Japanese. to speak Japan. <laughs> um, via Duolingo and d- it, it's just so, it's so hard because there's a whole new like set of letters and everything really? yeah. shut up shut shut up I'm getting <laughs> it's just like Duolingo is just like you're so dumb like it's like how are you like do you it's like do you want another life do you want to watch a video we'll give you another one it's okay what, like, what you made can, you pick uh, Japanese 
anime. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I've been watching anime and I've just been like, wouldn't it be cool if I could read some of it? Because I was previously doing German yeah. on there and that's what I took in high school and it just reminds me of high school and just like cringe, you know? <laughs> so it's like, sorry, German. Well, you know, yeah. actually, animation, like, I, I used to just have, like, before I started going to film school, I just thought it was so stupid because, like, yeah. kids like it. And then, mm -hmm. you know, when you start thinking about just, like, framing shots and, like, you know, lines and colors and stuff like that, it's just like, wow, an like, animation, you literally control everything, man. You control literally every single frame. Like, how, how lucky mm -hmm. are you, you know? And, like, every facial expression, like, that's crazy. Yeah. Like, you have to, that's insane. I, yeah, I watch, I watch, like, like, oh. animated movie. Like, we watched, we watched Monsters University the other day. Wonderful feature film. And it's, like, the people that animate those things, like, really have to know, like, a, like, a decent amount about, like, like, acting theory, I would think, too. You know? Like, just to, like, f like, f physically express how the characters are, f like, feeling every, I, that's just, mm -hmm. like, I feel like that's crazy that they can but, tap into that, too, while also having such, I think such they also have to, like, abilities. I think they have to, like, they, I have to assume they would, like, get the, like, voice lines, right? Because they have a general, like, picture. They start with the voices, they want, for sure. Right, voice then they get voices, sure. then they have to, like, move, like, the mouth, obviously, to how they talk. You think they film the voice actors as well? So that way they can, like, kind of watch their natural expression? I mean, there it? are, there's, like, a lot of, like, those videos of, like, people. Like, That's true. Voice acting. Like, Chris Pratt in the Lego movie. I remember that. For some reason, I vividly remember that one. That's another thing. Cam, was the Lego movie made out of Legos, or did they animate Legos? That I, I don't know the answer to that one, unfortunately. But I I, I, I can ask Siri if we yeah go yeah, ahead ask Siri. Siri let her know. Okay. There's another guest. What? Oh my gosh, guys! Everybody, <laughs> welcome to the podcast. My really good friend was Siri. Was the Lego movie multi talent? Uh, was it animated with Legos or just like normal animation? <laughs> nice. She'll get that one for sure. She'll get. She's gonna. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't quite catch that. Oh. Idiot. Okay. So, um. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna use the Safari app. Okay. I know they studied cool. a lot of like of the old um, stop motion videos on YouTube for We're 16 it. minutes in. Yes, uh, I used to uh, make those stop motion videos when I was a wee lad. Aw, are any of those yeah. gonna drop on your channel? Never. <laughs> you you made some stop motion videos too. I remember you yeah. made something with. What'd you make something with? What I was it clay? I did um Play yeah I got some play doh and my first video <laughs> my first <laughs> one this this was during like the the early part of quarantine when we, there was still hope that we'd get out of it. <laughs> yes. And, oh. Um. I bought some play doh. Um. Uh -huh. At Target and my first video was just the ball of clay play doh rolling across the, <laughs> the screen, and yeah. um my family was all like when I showed it to them they're like this reminds me of that. Um, episode of Parks and Rec when Ben White is like working on his stop motion and it's just three seconds long. It's just a guy getting up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's so good. But my, my best one was I uh, made a video of how to load film onto a, a, like a film camera. That one was pretty good. Maybe I'll put that one on my, on a YouTube channel or something. But like with stop motion. So it looks like it's just, yeah, fun. That's, that's so sick. Yeah. It's cool. That's another type of animation that is just so meticulous. It's insane. Like Wallace and Gromit, dude. Yeah. You never even think. Why would you go through all that trouble to make Wallace and Gromit? I'm sorry. But <laughs> you like, could have made you know anything and they chose these ugly, like, yeah, like this, like. Cheese, Gromit. <laughs> like, it was like, what, dude? Like, <laughs> I don't like this guy. I don't know. It was, that was. Oh, man. He's and got... Gromit didn't even. Gromit didn't even talk, so that the only dude you heard was "Cheese, Gromit!" the whole time. I wanted to <laughs> off myself. He had like, and he had the freaking like green like sweater vest. Oh and, my like, gosh! Oh mm -hmm. man, dude, I kind of wish. Then he turned. He turned into like um, a were rabbit thing, right? Yes, he did. I turn love into, it. Okay. Oh, okay. So yeah, it's it actually, like it's part. It's part Lego, part CGI, and they try to make it as seamless as possible to make wow. it look like entirely Lego. I think. Cool. Also, we're like 18 minutes in. Hey, that's cool. Hey. We have like two minutes left. That's always how it is. It always feels like, oh my gosh, we have forever. And then you're just like, oh, we, we've been talking for 20 minutes. That's crazy. Yeah. It's because it's just because it's so easy. Yeah. I, but anyway, I wrote sorry, a song I'm... for you guys. No can way. I, can I perform it? Yes. Sure. Okay. I didn't actually write. I mean, this is like a, I, I ripped someone else off. Um, okay. Like Adam Sandler. Do you want yeah. to credit him or no? We don't have. To I don't know. Him. I mean, maybe maybe I shouldn't because they might pull down this video. So I don't know. We'll see if we get okay. in trouble. Actually, Will they, they pull it down more. We, yeah. UMG, you're not hearing this. Universal okay. Music Group is not hearing this. We make no money off this video, so. 
gotta get my first note, you know? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I got, sure. more importantly, I gotta frame it in the camera. That's, yeah. Okay. <laughs> in a town where I reside, live two oh brothers <laughs> who look like chalk, and they looked <laughs> to make new content Ooh. to get more popular <laughs> on TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's no. <laughs> so they bought a couple mics and started sh- <laughs> telling stories from their past. Ooh. You can Ooh. listen if you like. Yeah. On the Body Pillow podcast. podcast, we all live in. Oh wait, eggnog. <laughs> Shoot, <laughs> wait, do it again. Do it again. We, do it again. We all listen to the to Body the Body Pillow podcast. Pillow podcast. The Body Pillow podcast. podcast. The Body Pillow podcast. podcast. We, we all listen live. To the body pillow podcast. Body pillow podcast. Body pillow podcast. Ryan, do it. That was it. That was so good. Ryan actually yeah. brought for this episode. You wanna you wanna tell them what it is? It's, it's just, I bought it for one dollar at a garage sale. Oh snap! Um, yeah. Yeah. Hold on. So hold like, on. wait. Tell a joke. Um. Oh shoot. <laughs> um, like, you guys ever realize like, like they have all these freaking traffic cones around? <laughs> oh, the symbol's not working. Right. The symbol's not working. He's trying. There it is. Oh yeah. But um, try again. All right, Cameron. Cameron, do the chorus again, and we'll add drums. Okay. Okay. We are so getting copyright strike because these. Are- nah, 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 nah. This okay. get like ten views. We're fine. One, two, ready. We all we listen, all to, listen the to the body podcast. Body podcast. The body podcast. I can't hear you, Ryan. We all listen to the body podcast. Body pillow podcast. Body pillow podcast. Body pillow podcast. Yay. We'll like sync that up, maybe. Yeah, we'll sync it up. I'll. It'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be great okay. because with my audio editing skills, I'm That's sure it'll really be wonderful. Loud. Is, is it really? Yeah, yeah. it's probably just oh, it's whatever, okay. smacking that thing. My ears That's can so take funny. a beating, as they say. No, Ooh. no one says that. <laughs> My ears can take a beating. No, I've heard someone said that. I've heard yeah. someone say that. Like when um, they can take a licking. Yeah, like Ew. when wrestlers, like you know how wrestlers like get those puffy ears. Yeah. Yeah, but their ears could take a beating. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> do we have wait we need a sponsor for this video oh we do need a sponsor oh. for this video before we wrap it on up okay so i um, think we didn't have a body pillow on this one either oh here Bomber. grab the body pillow first i'm trying to, maybe I'll i have back. what kind of like i don't know Cameron yeah cam you can have you can pillow. you can you can have the sponsor on your end dude yeah. um as long as it just doesn't like reveal your identity i don't know anything too personal yeah. about yourself oh, okay yeah 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 oh here's the body pillow guys i body. zoomed in on Vegemite. I brought a, a thing of Vegemite. Okay. The Ooh, Australian what food. Spot? What brand? Oh, this food brand. Vegemite. Vegemite. That's our sponsor for today, dude. We have another sponsor, actually. Oh, we sure. have another one? You brought another Half-eaten one? Half-eaten Polar Express cookie. Oh, Half-eaten oh, yeah. Polar Express cookie and Vegemite. Give it up. Thank you guys so much for sponsoring us. We could not do it without Eating you. Eating ASMR. <laughs> I don't think they're going to be able to hear I'll I'll, like, really compress that part so they'll be able to hear it. Like, I'll really... Uh, <laughs> I can hear it in my ears because I hear everything echoed in the headphones. Really? I thought you could hear it in your toes. I hate you. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my gosh. All right. Well, you can hear it in your toes. I think we're going to wrap it up. I can feel it. Uh, I think we're going to wrap it on up now. Thank you so much, Cam, for coming on. Hey, can I just say something real quick? You can. Out of out of all my friends podcast, your guys is is my favorite. And, and I'm Dang, not just saying. Friends yeah, podcasts I'm not just that. saying that because none of my other friends have podcasts, but because I really mean it, guys. Thank, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Thanks. So, thank you so much, Cam. And at 23 minutes and 30 seconds. <laughs> All right, we'll do the outro. Um, and the outro music. I'm gonna make the Body Pillow podcast song that he made. Oh, yeah, that's what oh, I think. Oh man, I think I'll make that the outro. Yeah, that'll be sick. Man, All right, so let's sign off. You're welcome. In three, two, one. Goodbye. <laughs> We all listen to the Body Pillow Podcast. Body Pillow Podcast.
Fuck the fuck,